All right, welcome to the Dozen Trivia here on YouTube. Uh, make sure if you've not subscribed to this page, a lot of you are watching and not subscribing. Please subscribe. It helps us out a ton. I can't stress that enough. And give the video, even if you hate me, give the video a like. Make it a hate like. Uh, other than that, uh, we have continuation of the second round. If you've not seen any of the second round matches or any of the tournament, please go back and watch those. I've got a playlist option here on the page. You can go catch up. Make sure you don't miss anything because you're about to see uh, Nick Terrain against Chris Clemmer and Stephen Che against PFT Commenter. You've missed other two matches. Please go back and watch those or any of the first round. You're about to get spoiled in the next 10 seconds. Uh, also, remember, go to DailyDozenTrivia.com every single day and test your trivia knowledge uh, and Dustin-style questions. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you as fans. Enjoy the match. Welcome to the following presentation of the Dozen Trivia by Barstool Sports. Is Carl. it Crime Dog, Fred McGriff? <laughs> Jesus, how in the hell? The Hungers are your champions. Unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah, the movie's called Get Fucked. <laughs> hey, Jack. The dozen champions of Town All right, it's the dozen 1v1 Battle Royale 2023. Second round continues on here with a brand new episode tonight, a doubleheader, and you have Nick... The five seed took down Trent in the first round and Clemmer, the twelve of the twenty one seed who upset large in the first round, two friends facing off. Temporary Good friends. Foes. Yeah. yeah. Temporary I love Nick. foes. Nick's one of my like favorite people at Barstool, but I, I want to just crush his spine. <laughs> no chief. <laughs> oh my God. Uh winner yeah, takes on paralyze me, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> um winner takes on Fran who uh, defeated Rudy in a really close battle. Uh, both scored over 10 points. And then right after this match, stick around. Stephen Che, the sixth seed, taking on PFT, the 11th seed. But yeah, Nick, uh, I mean, I have said that, that Clemmer just made me throw out all, all my game notes after that vicious comment. Yeah, man. Uh, I guess everything is off the table here. Uh, but I do think out of the entire pool of, of combatants, I think Clemmer is the favorite to win this. He's an encyclopedia of things that nobody has ever cared about. <laughs> that's true uh i'm i'm worried i mean i i don't know what you're capable of here i heard your categories are weird weird and wild stuff um <laughs> i'm nervous for about kb i'm nervous about frank there's a bunch of people yeah we got some yes. savants frank frank might have found a fastball he's only played one match but that the, the the frank thing uh both your teams obviously we've talked about it in the league in november in the dozen season four the team uh, the Dozen Trivia League, as we're now renaming it. Uh, Nick's Frank Etz back. Uh, Clemmer, your honkers in the league. Uh, but Frank might be might be cooking a little bit going into the season. So uh, good. So I'm glad he's he's been. Uh, I think he found a good balance. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, I think he's going to let out a lot of aggression this year. Um, would be big for the Frank Etz. But let's get to the one v one. Winner moves on to play Fran, uh, the four seed in the Elite Eight. Uh, Eight categories selected by both of these gentlemen. Uh, four of them will be repeated as difficult categories. A uh, little rule change for round two. You will do all of the regular eight categories first and then go to the hard difficulty or the more challenging questions at the end. So save those last four for the end. Okay. Uh, three doubles. You can double up any two of the first eight regular difficulty categories, and you can double up one in the hard round at the end. Uh, Nick will give Clemmer his first category. Clemmer will give Nick his first one, uh, and then so on and so forth. Uh, let's look at Clemmer's categories. The New York Mets, Saturday Night Live, U.S. History, Batman Villains, Boston Red Sox, Batman 1989, Network Television, and MLB Expansion Teams. His difficult will be the Red Sox, Batman 1989, the movie, uh, Network TV, and MLB Expansion Teams. Next categories. Uh, Heads yeah, or no tails. Shock. Best... Oh. oh, I'm sorry. No, Jeff. go ahead. Uh, no, 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 go ahead. No, I'm just saying it's no shock that pussy isn't one of his categories. <laughs> you know what's sad when he said that? I immediately went to Sopranos. <laughs> he's, so, he's so locked in right now. Um, oh, no. <laughs> that was my first day. I was like, well, you know, it's, oh, it's no. the show. Nick has heads or tails, best of seven. Uh, we'll flip a coin. 
Uh, Nick has to call it uh, four out of seven times. He did not get it last time, and he doubled. Uh, four <laughs> movie titles, <laughs> sounds. You'll hear a random sound, be given an option, uh, asking him what the sound is. As seen on TV, who's that Pokemon? Very, very zoomed in logos. Celebrity Mashup Cartoon Edition, Reverse Pop Punk. He made a change here. He did repeat sounds twice last time. He'll be repeating Reverse Pop Punk twice this time. And then difficult will be, who's that Pokemon? Very, very zoomed in logos. Celebrity Mashup Cartoon Edition and Reverse Pop Punk. Uh, here we go. Nick, uh, you'll be giving Clemmer his first category. What will it be? Let's start him off with U.S. history. U.S. history for Clemmer. All right, Clemmer, are you going to be a uh, single or double here? Uh, single, please. All right, figured as much. Here is your question. 30 seconds on the clock when I'm done reading the question. Here it is. U.S. history, your first category today. During the Great Depression, this Louisiana governor rose to fame as a champion of the poor, but was assassinated at age 42 in 1935. I don't think I know. Um, trying to think of who I know from Louisiana. I'm going to guess Huey Long, final answer, but that might not be right. That is right. Yeah. One nothing, Clemmer, Huey Long. That's a no-brainer. <laughs> yeah, it's every... <laughs> Thank my, you, Nick. Appreciate my boy that. Huey. Uh, <laughs> Throwing over to Nick Clemmer. Yeah. Um, let's go with foreign movie titles. Foreign movie titles. All right. This is for Nick to make it one to one. Hmm. You're going to see a movie title that was translated into the country of origin and then back into English, making it a little confusing. In China, theater goers enjoyed this big 2014 movie translated back into English with the title Interplanetary Unusual Attacking Team. 30 hmm. seconds. That will. This big 2014 movie, Interplanetary Unusual Attacking Team. Boy, oh boy, why did I make this my category? Um, <laughs> interplanetary. 10 seconds. Unusual Attacking Team. Uh, Five. I'm going to go uh, Star Wars, um, The Force Awakens. As Guardians of the Galaxy. Ah, fuck! Yeah, Guardians they were an the unusual galaxy. attacking team. They they were they were they were a strange attacking team. That they had a correct. tree man. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. yep, they did. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, other side, Nick, back to Clemmer. Uh, let's give him uh, the Boston Red Sox. I will Boston double this. Doubled up Boston Red Sox. This is for Clemmer for two points to make it an early three zero lead. Red Sox. Following two seasons in Philadelphia, this starting pitcher's 15-year career ended with one bad season in Boston in 1999, going 7-12 with a 551 ERA. That's Mark Portugal. Final answer? Yes. Mark Portugal, 3-0 lead for Clemmer early. Back You're getting to Nick. fucking softballs, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Back to Nick. Um, who's that Pokemon? I'll double, Jeff. Doubled up to make it three to two. Nick using his first double like Clemmer just did. Uh, Nick, the question is simple. It is going to be, uh, who's that Pokemon? You'll see, just like the TV show, a silhouette of a Pokemon. Tell me the Pokemon. Here sure. it is. In three, two, one. There it is. Uh, that's Growlithe, Jeff. Final answer? Yeah. That is correct. Growlithe. Is Growlithe Three a good Pokemon or a bad Pokemon? Well, what do you mean by good or bad? Do, 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 is that someone you would want? Like, if you got a Growlithe card, are you excited or are you like? Uh, I'd be more excited for its evolved form, but like in the game, you, you'd be happy to have a Growlithe and get that up evolved up. Cool looking Pokemon. Uh, mm -hmm. Three to two, both doubles used successfully so far. All right, back over to Clemmer. Slight advantage. Uh, let's give him Batman villains. Batman villains. I will, this is I will double this. Nice. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Batman. Really? Okay. Batman Who villains. Who was the lead in Joaquin Phoenix, the Joker? What villain no, was he? I must know. These are all villains from like the the 60s. <laughs> the 66 TV series. He won oh only the God. old villains. Yeah. But we talked about Milton Burl last time we played with Clemmer. <laughs> uh, here we go. Dude, Clemmer <laughs> is so go. perfect for this. <laughs> uh, 
Joan Collins played this famous singer turned villainess who could put men under her spell by singing a note three octaves above high C. That would be the siren. <laughs> it is five to two. Clemmer's doubles are both successful. <laughs> this well, is a, this Collins, really is a, huh? <laughs> We're bringing in that young demographic, Jeff. You feel that? Yeah. <laughs> You can hear Everybody everyone can be excited to play along with these questions, Jeff. You can hear everyone Our hitting the dynasty. home button on their Roku right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, five to two. All right, back over. Clemmer, what are you going to give Nick next? Uh, let's go with uh, very, very zoomed in logos. Okay. Very, very zoomed in logos to make it five to four. To make it five to four. Uh, no, I'm not uh, doubling. Yeah. Oh, uh, five to three. Excuse me. Yes, five to three. You're going to see one very, very zoomed in logo. Identify the brand. Here is your zoomed in logo. Oh my God, that's zoomed in. But that's T-Mobile. Final that's answer. Not, yeah, that is correct. T-Mobile. Five look to at, three. Look at those pixels. <laughs> They're really pixelated. Uh, back over to Clemmer. I was just thinking, Rudy's a big T-Mobile guy. Good for Rudy, right? Rudy, Rudy John, the big T-Mobile guy. Yeah, he's a team. What a what a weirdo! <laughs> I can't yeah, I agree. A T-Mobile guy on my podcast. What don't T-Mobile fans always brag about? One thing, like they get like free internet on most like random flights, like just free messaging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is free. <laughs> yeah, yeah, free yeah. messaging. Have you seen right. that map? It's all in pink. Have you all seen right, the map? Yeah. Um, let's give him Batman. Batman eighty nine. Uh, no more doubles for Clemmer. All were used successfully, though, so far. He's up 5-3. to three. Nick has an extra double against him. Here we go. Batman, 1989. What character does Jack Napier shoot and kill just before Batman scars him and sends him into the chemicals? Oh, Lieutenant Eckhart. Think about the future, Eckhart! <laughs> That's correct. And he got a performance, 6-3. No, That's correct. <laughs> Think about the future, Eckhart. Uh, that is correct, 6-3. to three. Nick down three, extra double. What are you going to give him, Clemmer? Oh, uh, let's go with As Seen on TV. As Seen on TV. This is for Nick mm-hmm. to make it six to four. After selling the Shamwell, Vince Offer next promoted this kitchen device in 2008 that quickly cut up food by pressing down on it. That's the Slap Chop, Jeff. Final answer? Yeah. Slap Chop is correct. People used to say I look like him. Or it looks like him. His tongue was bit by a prostitute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, mm-hmm. yeah, he got a lot of... <laughs> he got really edgy after all that. He like he baked it into his performances. Yeah, um, yeah. He, that was a real shift in his life. <laughs> um, all right, back to Clemmer. Up by two, but does have one less double. Um, let's give him a Saturday Night Live, Jeff. SNL, here we go. This is for Clemmer to make it seven to four temporarily. What is the name of the recurring 1990s SNL sketch featuring Will Ferrell as a female pub- public political figure set mostly in a basement? Oh, you guys keep giving me these late 90s ones and I keep not knowing them. Um, fuck. I don't know. Um, the Will Ferrell era, unfortunately, I just don't, I don't know. Um, as well as I do like the Dana Carvey era. Let's see. I will, uh, I'll guess. I'll say uh, Monica Lewinsky, Monica's Basement. <laughs> Man, I guess that's a fair guess. First miss for Clemmer, uh, it is Janet Reno's Dance Party. Janet ah. Reno's Dance Party, mm. a classic. She did cameo in that one as well on the last time they showed that. Uh, all right, back to Nick. Nick, a potential chance to tie if he doubles here, but now oh, we're evened shit. up if he gets it. What are you going to give him, Clemmer? Oh, uh, uh, heads or tails? Uh, was, Heads or tails? That, yeah. <laughs> uh, no double this time? I don't think so. Okay, we have a much larger coin this time. Holy. Ooh. Look at that. Uh, all right, Nick, simple as this. Call it in the air. Heads or tails? If you get four out of seven, you get a point. Uh, call it in the air. Heads. It is heads, one nothing, Nick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> heads. It is heads, two mm-hmm. nothing, Nick. Mm-hmm. Clever, don't coin. fret. This happened last time. Who's <laughs> a coin? Tails. Ah, it is heads again. <laughs> Actually, I did just check. I was like, is this a fake two-sided <laughs> coin? Uh, here we go. Heads or tails? Tails. 
It is tails three to one. Nick has three shots for a point. Call it in the air. Heads. It is heads. A point for Nick. He gets heads or tails. (laughs) Guy knows coins. No. I can already tell Dozen fans are going to be like, (laughs) Dozen fans are going to be like, heads or tails has to be a a bonus round this year. (laughs) And like, I'm in my head already playing out like, do I make that happen? Six to four. (laughs) We are essentially tied, though, or in theory could be tied because Nick has one extra double. Back to Clemmer, Nick. The Mets. The Mets. Here we go. This Mets starter from South Korea started 66 games from 2003 through 2004 with a middle-of-the-road 22-24 and 24 record and 386 ERA. Shit. I... I can see it. I don't think this is right. Seconds. I might be getting my Korean pictures mixed up here. Um, fuck. It's not Masato Yoshi. He's from Japan. Uh, Daesan Ku, K-O-O, last name, final answer. Uh, Jay Wong Su. Oh! <laughs> oh! Would have accepted just Jay Su, I believe they said. I don't know how you pronounce yeah. it properly, but no, they people right. leave wrong. Yeah, that's, okay, that, was so, somebody else. that wasn't even one of the hard questions. <laughs> um, back over, Nick. Uh, Clamor, what are you going to give him? Oh, man, I'm in trouble here. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Celebrity Mashup Cartoon. I'll double. Uh, I, <laughs> doubled up to make yeah. it 7 6 Celebrity Mashup Cartoon Edition. Uh, this. <laughs> I, even, I haven't even pulled it up yet. Uh, name the two cartoons mashed up in this photo. Uh, celebrity mashup cartoon edition. Oh, that's haunting. <laughs> so that is um. So the inside is Lois Griffin, and the outside is the dad from Rocket Power. But what's his name? What's the dad from Rocket Power's name? Mr. Rocket, uh, what's his name? Reggie Otto. Oh, no. Uh oh, need something in. Five, four, three, uh, two. Dustin Rocket. <laughs> it's Raymundo, Raymundo Rocket. Fuck, I should have. Huge miss. That. Huge miss. Nick doubled that. Double. Okay, Clemmer, now a true advantage, up by one. Nick misses his double. Back over. Nick, what are you going to give Clemmer? I'll give him network television, Jeff. Network television. This is for Clemmer to make it seven to five. Brooke Shields is a San Francisco-based magazine writer in the lead of this NBC sitcom from 1996 through 2000. Well, she was suddenly Susan. Final answer. (laughs) That's correct. Seven to five. This isn't good. Here we go. Back over. Clemmer throwing the nick. Um, so it's just sounds in reverse pop, pop punk, right? Yep. Sounds in reverse pop punk um, are left for Nick. I will go with reverse pop punk. Reverse pop punk for Nick to make it seven to six. Here we go. What band released this 2007 song uh, played backwards? Here we go. You can hear it up to four times if I can get to the fucking music here. Uh, here is the song. Uh, can I have it one more time? Yep. That's uh, all time low, Jeff. That is right, dear Maria. Count me in seven to six by all time low. All right, and it'll be expansion teams. Last thing on the board in the regular difficulty round uh, for Clemmer. Here it is to make it eight to six. Drafted by Colorado in their first draft in 1992, this outfielder went to Tampa Bay in the 97 expansion draft to name their 98 team MVP. Drafted in their first draft, so the amateur draft. This outfielder mm-hmm. went to Tampa Bay in the 97 expansion draft. And was named their 98. Uh, I think. Surprised this would be the person that would be their MVP, though. Because Rolando Rojo had a great year for them. 
I'm going to say Quentin McCracken, final answer. That is correct. Eight to six, Quentin McCracken. Nick, not, a chance not to the MVP of that team. I'll say that. Make it eight to seven going into the difficult round. Here mm-hmm. we go. This is sounds. <clears throat> what is this rubbing sound? A stamp on a fridge, an upside down remote on a desk, or rubber gloves on a mirror? You can hear it five times. Sure. Okay. Um, want to hear it again? No, I think I think that was an upside down remote on a desk, Jeff. Final answer? Yeah. Eight to seven says this bad boy right here, an old Roku remote. Was. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I That's why sounds is in your category, Clever. Uh, wow. You don't know sounds like I do. I do not. <laughs> um, that all was right. Good sounds. <laughs> here we go. One point on advantage. Face. For Nick, uh, for Clemmer, going into the difficult round, what are you going to give Clemmer his first difficult? Let's give him network television, Jeff. Network TV. Here we go. This is for Clemmer to make it nine to seven. On Nash Bridges, what comedic actor played Joe Dominguez, Nash's longtime friend and partner? The uh, Cheech Marin, final answer. Nine to seven. What are you going to throw for Nick? Uh, let's go with uh, Celebrity Mashup Cartoon. All right. Do you want to double this? No, not after missing Ray Mundo. There we go. Celebrity Mashup Cartoon Edition to make it nine to eight. So that is, is it three things? It's three, yes. We, we It was four last time. I figured that was unfair because we went from two to four. So it was just three this time. All right. So that would be Tommy Pickles. Oscar Kokoschka, and that would be Jim, or John, John from Garfield. Final answer? Yeah. Yeah, John Arbuckle, Tommy yeah. Pickles, and Oscar Kokoschka. Uh, that is Who correct. Is Oscar Kokoschka? What's he from? Hey, Arnold. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nine to eight. Nine to eight. Um, <laughs> I love that category. <laughs> I do, too. Snuck. That might that – might, pop in now and then in the dust that should be a niche for you honestly i mean um, you've run out of reg- like living celebrities like human celebrities yeah we have we've done a lot <laughs> yeah um okay nine to eight clemmer slight advantage both have your doubles nick what are you gonna give clemmer next let's give him expansion teams jeff and there'll be expansion teams you want to double no okay here we go this is for clemmer and there'll be expansion teams who did Colorado? Who did the Colorado Rockies draft ninth in the '92 expansion draft, only to flip him right after for Dante Bichette? Oh no! Well, he would have come over from the Brewers. Oh my God! Um, I don't know this. He went to the Angels, the Brewers. Who would have they given to the Brewers? I'm just gonna get. I don't know. Uh, fuck. That is a tough question. Um, Bill Spires, final answer from Kevin Reimer. Reimer. Yep, Kevin Reimer. Uh, came over for Dante Bichette. Oh, hey, no, uh, right Nick, a chance to nod it back up here. Big opening. Yeah. What are you going to give him, Clemmer? Uh, oof. Uh, let's go with very, very zoomed in logos. All right, you're going to see three very, very zoomed in logos. Mm-hmm. This is for Nick. Three zoomed in logos. Tell me the brands. So we have Crayola, Ruffles, and MasterCard, Jeff. Final answer? Yeah. That is correct. We're knotted up. Nine apiece. No clue what the fucking... No clue what the fucking bonus round would be. Here we go. Uh, knotted up. <laughs> this is this Nick. Send it over to Clemmer. Let's give him the Boston Red Sox. Let's double Boston this. Sox. You're going to double this. Here we go for two points. The Red Sox traded with the Twins for this 13-year veteran and former starter at the 98 deadline, appearing in 29 games with a 338 ERA. For two points, make it 11 to 9. Greg Swindell, final answer. 
That is correct. 11 11. What are you going to give Nick? Fuck. Let's see. I'm going to he's going to double this, but who's that Pokemon? Jeff, I'm going to double that. Who's that Pokemon? Here we go to knot it up at 11 apiece going into the last round. Identify these three Pokemon. Mm -hmm. So that would be Parasect, Machoke, and Weeping Bell. Final answer. Final answer. answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. 11 11, Batman reverse pop punk. This is your Batman question. Clemmer. Here we go. <laughs> last round. Tied up. What is the name of the crime lord the Joker electrocutes to death with a joy buzzer saying he got a little hot under the collar? Oh, no. I know his first name. Is that enough or I need the last name? If I need more, I'll tell you, but you just got to – I can't really say much there. Because he was like – he like, punches in the chin. He's like, you got – Joey. His, his, they call him Joey in it. He calls him Joey. Joey, final answer. It's Antoine. Antoine. A little hot under the collar, Antoine. Antoine. It is. Antoine. Oh, you got no. A oh, no, no. Nick Nick for the win now. Reverse pop pop. Oh, Here we go. No. Oh, no. Here we go. What is the title of this pop punk song from 2004 played backwards for the win? The title of the song. Okay. That's holiday, Jeff. Final answer? Yes. yes. That is correct. 12 11. Nick grabs the victory. You In the last this. and final round, he advances to take on Fran. My goodness. I uh, the, I was the, I am so nervous the entire time these happen. <laughs> Nick, uh, big win, but Clemmer, early thoughts here just after the match ends. Antoine, that's going to haunt me now forever. I'm, I'm glad the character at least dies. He burns up. His face gets all ashy. So I'm yeah. glad that happened to him because that's how I feel right now. It, it's, I mean, it's a definitely a tough question. Yeah, it's, it's a tough well, one. Well, it's, it's, it's yeah, working Antoine. hard. That's fine. It's, that's the but I, I feel like – I know I feel like the Mets one is the one that's going to really haunt you, though. Yeah, that's tough. Uh not good. Not, not. I think I did okay. Played great, I, though. Yeah, I mean, it's it, this. I'm, I'm upset because I don't get to do this anymore. This is like really fun. I know. We are so you afterwards. So like, this is the funniest we, thing I've done. We are definitely going to do some. I don't know when, but we are going to start doing like weekly one, like one v one a week, like almost like a oh hell like yeah. a like a belt type thing where like if you win the first one, like or like you know um. You, you, you keep, like, the crown or the belt until someone beats you, basically. That's very um, great, yeah. So we're gonna, I, I don't know when we're going to – that may be, like, when football ends, um, and we'll do it, like, on – I don't know. So we'll see. But we are definitely – so far, we're going to do this, get some people in the office who maybe don't have a team um, who just want to play just, like, a one-off. Um, so we are going to do, like, a 1v1 type ordeal going forward. Um, so, no, this is not your last shot at this, Clemmer. And Clemmer also very clearly a top-10 seed when we do this tournament next year, too. Uh, that's that's been clear from here. Are you going to suggest any of these? I mean, like '60s Batman villains might have to be a honkers niche in the in the league. I I, I love that. I, I love it. that's what's fun about this is like I love Batman so much, and I haven't really been able to like do that here at, at Barstool the year I've been here. Really, it hasn't come up a ton. So being able to do that, it's like a blast. This has been like honestly like incredibly fun. It's too bad an uh, asshole like Nick had to beat me, but yeah, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Battle of the mashups bad. though. Nick, battle the mashups, cartoon versus celebrity, you versus Fran now. Yeah, that's insane. I think I'm going to have to do some tinkering to m some of my niches. I don't know foreign movie titles. I just don't. <laughs> also, we're like, we're like out of them now. There's not as many. It's like, it's all now it's just Die Hard and Six Sense left. Like there really isn't anything. So it probably would be a good change. Yeah, yeah I'll probably have to switch that up. Um, and maybe as seen on TV. I don't, <laughs> I will see what happens. Uh, Nick moves on to take on Fran. The next match you're going to see is PFT against Che with the winner taking on Brandon Walker. Uh, that's it. Nick on to the Elite Eight. Uh, stay tuned. Next match coming up right now. All right, the dozen one v one battle royale twenty twenty three carries on here in the second round with a two uh, with a, a regular uh, matchup here a six eleven. Just look, looks like the NCAA tournament. Uh, 
Both these guys here did not get upset in the first round. Che knocked off Vibs, though a very unfortunate way for Vibs to leave. Uh, he didn't know the answer, just read it wrong. And PFT beat uh, Tommy Smokes in the opening match in a close one. Che, six seed, PFT 11 seed. Winner takes on Brandon Walker, the three seed. Uh, PFT thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, I said after I beat Tommy that I'm looking past Stephen Che and I'm only focusing on Brandon Walker. <laughs> I'm still doing that. I'm not, and it, it's no disrespect to Stephen Che. I think Stephen Che has a very good chance of beating me. In fact, he probably will. In fact, congratulations, Stephen, on your win today. <laughs> you're you're a great competitor, but I mean, I've got Brandon to think about. I, you have to start mentally preparing in advance on ways to fuck with Brandon, like two weeks before you play him. So my mind has been kind of going down that direction, but uh, should be a good game to that. We'll see. That's As like. Punishment to win because if you get waxed by Brandon in the next round, that's way worse than losing this match. It's one way to spin it for PFT. Well, also <laughs> for myself, if I do beat Brandon, that's probably just as bad for the experts in the long run because absolutely, he's gonna, like, absolutely is secretly hate me. Maybe not even secretly. He's just gonna. He did hate say me. in his match, he said he wouldn't mind if like you or friend carried him next season solely. So he, if you lose like in the championship again. The the entire butt of the joke is not him, um, but you know he. I think he'd rather be the butt of the joke than win and not be the number one star. Well, implied so. in that is that he carried us last season. No, he did. Is, he was very. He did not say that. He was very clear. But he would rather the spotlight not be on him at all, which I don't believe. That's a lie. So that was a <laughs> fucking lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe it. Uh, here we go. They both selected eight categories, as we have done all tournament. Four of them will repeat uh, as more difficult questions. A bit of a change for these two guys. The hard questions will be at the end. We just do the regular eight difficulty moving forward here, second round and on. We made that change midway through. Uh, PFT, Che, you both have three doubles. You can double up any of the first eight categories twice, and then the hard categories once each. Che gives PFT his first category. PFT gives Che his first, so on and so forth. Back and forth we go. PFT, your categories today. And you did have a bit of a change here. Yep. Uh, the Simpsons, uh, the funnies. It's going to be uh, uh, comic strips from the 90s from uh, the newspaper <laughs> section. The newspaper funny, funny section. Yeah. Uh, United States Men's National Team World Cup. Tex-Mex food, sublime, ska music. Washington football QBs and modern U.S. air-to-air combat jets, uh, and then you have uh, hard sublime, uh, difficult ska, mm-hmm. difficult Washington football QBs, and U.S. Uh, modern U.S. air-to-air combat jets. Mm-hmm. Uh, che, Oscars best picture, college of the NFL, Billboard top 100, NFL, NFL draft, NBA draft, NBA career path, and jersey numbers. And your repeating difficult will be NFL draft, NBA draft, NBA career path, and jersey numbers. Uh, winner takes on Brandon Walker. Here we go. Che, what are you going to give PFT first? Let's do the Simpsons. Okay. Simpsons, right off the top for PFT. Here's your Simpsons question, PFT. In the season two Thanksgiving episode, when Bart runs away from home, he earns twelve dollars in a speedy part of town by a seedy part of town by doing what? Thanksgiving episode. I don't remember this episode for some reason. Season two Thanksgiving episode when Bart runs away from home. Twelve dollars in the CD for it down. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, three. card Monty. Donates plasma. Donates blood plasma. Mm-hmm. Donating liquid. Uh, here we go. Back over to Che. PFT, what are you going to give him? Uh, let's start out with an easy one for him. Let's do NFL draft. NFL draft. Do you want a double? Uh, yes. Doubled up for Stephen Che for a 2-0 lead very early on. Two wide receivers went in the first round of the 2015 NFL draft. Amari Cooper, this player, seventh overall out of West Virginia. Shout out Big Cat. That is Kevin White. Final answer? Yes. That is correct. Two to nothing, Che. Can't ask you that question when it's the yak. Uh, here we go. Back to PFT. What are you going to give him, Che? Let's go uh, top to bottom. Let's go with the funnies. The funnies. Here we go. This replaced rules of soccer. Uh, the funnies for PFT. <laughs> Debuting in 1997, this comic strip was about the life of 17-year-old high schooler Jeremy Duncan. 
Zitz. Final answer. Zitz. Final answer. <laughs> that is correct. Zitz. I, that's my new favorite category. <laughs> the funnies. Uh, one, two to one. <laughs> uh, back I was hoping I was going to get an Andy Cap question. That's my guy. I, I, it, you know me well because I only didn't do it because I'm like I feel like Andy Cap be way too obvious the first time he does the funnies. Andy Cap is such a funny comic strip because it's just about this like British dude that gets drunk and beats his wife, and it's in the comic strip for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, back over to Che up by one uh, let's go with college to the NFL college to the NFL for Che make it three to one here is your question Bishop Sankey never panned out after the after the Titans drafted the running back in 2014 but he did enjoy a very successful college career at what school Washington final answer yep that is correct. Three to one. Classic fantasy guy everyone thought might be good. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a great name. Back over to PFT. What are you going to give him, Shay? Three to one after two rounds. Uh, U.S. Men's National Team World Cup. All right. U.S. Men's National Team World Cup. This is for PFT to make it three to two. Starting at forward, this United States Vest National pl- Team player opened the scoring against South Korea and what would become a one-to-one draw in Group D? That would be Clint Mathis with a mohawk. Final answer, Clint Mathis. That is correct, three to two. I thought he was going to be awesome. PFT down one. Che, now his third category. What do you give him, PFT? Let's go Billboard Top 100. Billboard Top 100. Here we go for, for Stephen Che. Going to be an audio question, Che. Here is your question. What is the title of this song that charted on the 2007 Billboard Year End Hot 100? Here it is. Much of a girlfriend. I never seem to get a lot. Take a look at my girlfriend. Girlfriend, she's the only one I got. I got. Ba-da-da, I feel like you're not going to give me the name and the song title, but I feel like it's Girlfriend. Uh, Ten seconds. It's My hands are tight. Like, I have to guess Girlfriend. It's That's not the, there. That can't be the answer. Girlfriend. Cupid's Chokehold. Cupid's Chokehold by Jim oh. Class Heroes. Uh, all right, PFT, a chance to tie it up here. Che blinks for the first time. Uh, what are you going to give him, PFT? Or Che. Or, oh. Uh, Mo- modern U.S. air-to-air combat. All right. Modern U.S. air-to-air combat, mm-hmm. Jets. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> um, is Top Gun <laughs> included in this? Here we go. This, this, this one is just... Uh, I, I'm curious to Still see how you write hard. these questions too. I, I just I, I spend a lot of time on these for for very little gain. I'm just like I don't even know what to do anymore. <laughs> Here we go to make it three to three. Keep in mind, PFT is an extra double. Now part of Boeing. What manufacturer introduced the F-15 Eagle back in 1976? The F-15 Eagle is made by McDonnell Douglas. Jeff, final answer. That is correct. Three to three, tied up now. Uh, keep in mind, again, as I just said, PFP did not use any doubles yet. Che did did it so successfully, I might add. I actually uh, own t- I own two F F fifteen Eagles. I own the F fifteen C and the F fifteen E Strike Eagle. Uh yep, in real life, one of the few few on, humans on my simulator. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. back to Che. <laughs> what are you gonna give him, PFT? Let's go Oscar's Best Picture. Oscar's Best Picture for Che to make it four to three. Nominated for Best Picture at the 83rd Oscars, this 2010 dramedy starred Annette Bening, Julianne Moore, and Mark Ruffalo. Fuck. Ooh. Oh, wait. Where'd the question oh. go? There you go. I think... Fuck. This is... I think this is right but I'm not sure of a word in it because there's an offspring song with a similar name. I think it's called the kids are all right. I believe the offspring. (laughs) Yeah. Let's go with the kids are all right. Final answer. That is correct. Four to three. Also the name of a who song is the kids are all right. So the offspring called theirs aren't all right. Fun fact. Yes. 
Uh, okay. Still essentially tied. PFT hasn't used a double yet. Che, what are you going to throw over to PFT? Let's do Washington football quarterbacks. I assume this means just the pro team, yeah? Yep. Yes. We'll double, Jack. Uh, you want to double? Double. Here we go for PFT to make it five to four. PFT's first double. A 2008 six-round pick. This former Heisman finals was the rookie leader in the 2008 preseason passing TDs, but he never took an NFL snap. I believe that is, uh, may he rest in peace, Colt Brennan. He had a great preseason. Colt Brennan from Hawaii. Final answer. That is correct. PFT of five to four lead. Che can tie it up here unless he doubles. He can regain a lead. Um, let's go jersey numbers, Jeff. I'll double that. All right, doubled up Stephen Che to make it six to five. This is his last double of the regular round. Here we go. Jersey numbers for Che. Jersey numbers. What common jersey number do these three players remember? This is just the same number, all three of these yep. guys. That is Kerry Kittles, Norris Cole, and Leron Landry. Just okay. Man, we'll that's who. That's going to be the big three zero. Steph Curry. Final, Final answer. answer. Yes. He threw in an extra credit, extra, extra player yeah, there. <laughs> that's correct. It's high stepping on me. <laughs> uh, six to five, but keep in mind, PFT is an extra double. Here we go. Back over to PFT. Okay. Landry and Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor was 21. Landry was 30. I thought that I was going to make a shitload of money selling Area 51 shirts with their oh. pictures on them. Uh, wish that Landry had been a little bit better. Yeah. There's that one. Sean bit Taylor that one also won't win a Super Bowl. <laughs> There's that one picture of LeRon Landry flexing where everyone's just like, that guy took roids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. Back over to PFT. Uh, che, what are you going to give him? Uh, Tex Mex food. Tex Mex food for one point. Tex Mex style has many variations of this Mexican dish that is typically a dried poblano pepper stuffed and fried with various ingredients. That would be a chili relleno. Final answer. Final answer. That is correct. Six to six. So good. Very PFT. good. Almost an Throw it over to Che. Uh, let's go NBA draft. NBA draft for Che. PFT still has one regular double remaining. Did not use it there. Uh, NBA draft for Che. Here we go. Make it seven to six. This shooting guard and small forward in Ohio State Buckeye went fourth overall to a Western Conference team in the 92 NBA draft. He is an announcer now. That's uh, JJ, Jim Jackson. That is correct. Jimmy Jackson, 7-2-6. Che with the lead. Uh, PFT still has that extra double. Back over to PFT. Che, what are you going to give him? Uh, sublime. Double. Sublime. You're going to double this. PFT yep. to make it 8-2-7. Sublime. Regular difficulty. What 96 Sublime song has these lyrics? I'm a backwards-ass hillbilly. I'm Dick <laughs> Butkus. You know I lie. I get mean. I'm a thief in the dark. I'm a raging machine. I'm a triple rectified ass son of a bitch. Rect tight on my ass and it makes me itch. Same in the end. Final answer. Doubled up. Correct. Eight to seven. Shake and tied up. Eight apiece. Here we go. What are you going to give him, PFT? Let's go with NBA career path, Jeff. NBA career path for Che to make it eight to eight. What forward had this career path from 2004 through 2016 and then 2017 through 2018? Had a gap there. Atlanta, Detroit, Houston, LA Clippers, Rockets, Pelicans. Can I ask to clarify the question? What do you mean there's a gap there? They were not in the NBA for a year? Uh, you, technically speaking, we had to note the gap. Um, like it wasn't like the full, the, the, the full season is basically what we're getting at. Okay, gotcha. Um... Right. They were they were they were not they were not in the NBA. Yes. Okay. Um with Atlanta. For for 2016, 2017, they were not in the NBA. That's what as we're getting at there. Okay. Got it. <clears throat> and they came back for year of the Pelicans. Start off with Atlanta and Detroit. Ten seconds. Is this Scott Pollard? Five. Oh, no, he's four, on the Kings. I don't know who three, it is. Three, two, nobody? No. 
I mean, Josh Smith. Josh Smith. Ooh. Oh, yeah. He went to China. Fuck. Career path is difficult. Career path it's kind of either sticks out yeah, or it doesn't. change that out. Damn it. Um, back over to PFT. Che, what do you give him? PFT has his first true lead. I guess there's only one left. Ska music, right? Yeah. yeah. Ska music. Here we go for PFT. Let's pick it up. What group releases 1997 Ska song? Can I guess before probably. you ask, Jeff? You can guess again, yes. No, I'm not going to. No, guess again. Throw, no. throw it out there. No. Okay. I got a small friend who has a bad friend. Who- okay, can you play one more time? I'm, I'm yep. 99% sure I know it. I got a small friend who has a bad friend. Who- that is Travis Barker on the drums for the Aquabats. Final answer. Final answer. Nine to seven PFT, nine points, only one miss through the regular difficulty. Scott is <laughs> I, I have I had such a hard time. I, I've I've looked up a hundred best saw best ska song lists. There's never an overlap in any of the ten. There's just really? never no, it's just <laughs> it's it's the biggest variation. I saw one list where it's like best ska song of all time. I looked it up, there's like two thousand plays on Spotify. I was like, that can't be the case. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the right um, one. All right, is that Jay. person's band probably? <laughs> yeah, Jay NFL to make it nine to eight going into the hard difficulty round. This wide receiver enjoyed over two thousand five hundred yards and nineteen touchdowns from twenty fourteen through twenty sixteen with the Eagles before being shipped out to Buffalo for Ronald Darby. Another question I couldn't give you with the with the yak. The fuck I traded for Ronald Darby. Eagles then Bills. Twenty five hundred yards, so I'm talking like eight hundred ish yards a season. This is after Macklin. Five. Four. Five. Three. Oh. Two. Jordan Matthews. Nine to eight, yeah. right wow. at the buzzer. Jordan Matthews. He did the tie celebration with Carson Wentz. Oh yeah. That was like the we- that was the weirdest thing. He was like he had a great first year for Carson Wentz. They're like, yeah, get out. They just traded him. Is that <laughs> Chip Kelly? Uh, post Chip Kelly, I think, right? Post Chip Kelly. Yeah, I think that was. Yeah, was. Yeah, Peterson was Chip Kelly's first year, right? I mean, Peterson was Wentz's first year, right? Eagles fans yeah. are screaming watching this. Um, okay. I was at the first Eagles game. Eagles fans are screaming watching anything. Bob Griffin the third started for the Browns. I was at Browns Eagles as uh, Wentz's first game. Um, here we go. Difficult categories. PFT up one. What are you going to give him, Jay? Uh, let's do Washington football quarterbacks. Should I double this? Big question here. Will he double? Mm. Nope, I'm not going to double. I feel like if you got Colt Brennan, you're going to get any of them. Colt's a deep guy, yeah. Here we go. You're not going to double. Washington football QBs for one point. Following a Patrick Ramsey injury, this former Boston College QB had the only five starts of his NFL career for Washington in 2003. Oh, shoot. Um, I think... Let's see, 2003. He brought Brunel in the next year. Boston College, there's a bunch of... You need an answer. A bunch of guys right around that time. Um, I'm going to go Tim Hasselbeck. I think Tim Hasselbeck went to Boston College. Final answer. Husband of Elizabeth Hasselbeck. That is correct. Wow. 10 nice. to 8. Back over to Che. PFD, what are you going to give him? Let's go NBA career path. NBA career path. Damn it. Missed the regular one. Here we go, Che. This is big. A career 16 points per game score. What shooting guard and small forward of this career path from 1999 through 2013? Orlando, LA Clippers, Golden State, Milwaukee, Charlotte, Detroit. <clears throat> 16 point per game career is pretty good. It's too early for Batum. Orlando. 15 seconds. Five. I don't think he scored that much, but Matt Barnes. 
Yeah. Matt Barnes on the Lakers. No. Matt Barnes. Corey Maggette. Corey Maggette. Mm, fuck. <clears throat> Corey Maggette. Two point hole for Che now. Back over to PFT. What are you going to give him? Uh, ska music. Ska music for PFT. <clears throat> Damn it. Here we go. PFT, what is the title of this ska song? Okay. She don't need nobody to be her man. She has a girlfriend now. She has a girlfriend now. Final answer. That is correct. 11 to 8, three point advantage. Che has four points left. What are you going to give Che next? Let's go. Let's get him back in, in some positive territory. NFL draft. NFL draft to make it 11 to double. 10. To make it 11 to 10, he is going to double. Here is his lone difficult double. If he misses this, the game is over. Oh, shit. Four SEC players went in the top 10 of the 2013 NFL draft with this defensive player third off the board out of the group. That is SEC as of that year. Timer begins now. Okay. 2013 was a shitty year. Um. So we had Dion Jordan as one. Or no, Dion Jordan was Oregon. Uh, Need an answer in. Five, four, three, two. D. Milliner. 11 to 10. Jay, really big pull there. 11, 10. Nice pull, Jay. Thanks. Back over. Almost went with your boy Kiki Mingo, but I, I I was struggling to put together the entire board in my head. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> didn't didn't pan out there. Oh, um, back over to PFT. Che, what are you gonna give him? <clears throat> uh, let's do modern U.S. air to air combat. <laughs> All right. I assume Sublime will be doubled, so this will be for one point to make it twelve to ten, meaning you could not lose in, in regulation. Here we go. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, first introduced in 2015, descends from what Lockheed aircraft? The F-35 descends from what Lockheed aircraft? I can't even fathom what this would mean. So descends... PFT, PFT was... Okay, go ahead. I'll explain after. Yeah. Okay. Descends from... I don't know what descends from means in this context. I, I, I will pause I might and give you... I will pause and give you one other word just because there's another way it was described. Okay. Oh, no. PFT was like, you know, you can do like missiles and stuff too. And then I looked it up on some of the wikis. It was like, no fucking shot. I was like, <laughs> I, I can't even comprehend this. Uh, it was de- or it was descended from or developed from what previous. So that's all. Awesome. Okay. Um, I mean, I mean, I guess it's got a lot of similarities. It works in conjunction with the F-22 Raptor. Five. Four, uh, so three. let's go with the F-22 Raptor. The Fuck. X-35. The X-35. Oh, shit. Uh, back over to Che. What are you going to give him, PFT? Let's go NBA draft. NBA draft to make it 11-11. Che, you missed this. You are still alive. A PFT can win um, on the other side. Here we go. Okay. NBA draft. The conferences are the year of the draft. I want to note that. Two Big 12 yeah. players went in the top five of the 97 NBA draft. Which player, a center slash forward, went second out of the pair? Two Big 12 players went in the top five of the 97 draft. Which player, a center forward, was second out of that pair? Okay. 97. It's Duncan. So, Billups was the first one. Second, who was after? Need an answer Tony. in. Tony Five. Batty. 11 11, wow. PFT for the win. If you miss this PFT, Che has a chance for the win. Simple as that. Wow. Sublime for two points and the victory. All right, PFT. Finish the lyrics of this 1996 Sublime song for the victory. It's going to be a hard one. Pull over. There's a reason why my soul's unsound. 
Final answer. That is correct. And the victory. PFT moving on. Uh, I want Brandon fucking Walker. And he's going to play Brandon. Che, great job. Uh, again, if you score over 10 in this, you're good. I should have um, swapped out the career path like you advised me. That was Career stupid. path's difficult. Just... It's really tough. It's because it, it either pops right away or it just doesn't. It's like, yeah. Uh, PFT, final words for Brandon Walker? Yeah, bring it on, you fucking fat piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, not even, I'm not trying to stir the pot or anything. I just want to beat the fuck out of Brandon Walker. I want to <laughs> shove my <laughs> down his stupid country throat. I'm, I want him <laughs> motherfuckers throw it. <laughs> That's how far I want it out. Just spit roasting with my with my fat. <laughs> Can you put that on YouTube? <laughs> Might have bleep that out for our new channel. Um, Actually, bleep it out. It's probably funnier if you bleep it. It out. is. It's always. It's uh, bleeps are almost always funnier when you just swear like ninety percent of the rest of the thing. Yeah. Um, when we had, um, I think we had Jerry Springer. Uh, also not going to win a Super Bowl on part of my take. And uh, we asked him about the bleeping stuff. And I was like, I think you bleep out more than you need to because it's better when you bleep it out. It makes it you bleep out completely unnecessary yeah. things. He's like, yeah, we would. We would do that. It's like Buster and Arrested Development. When they bleep him out, it's just significantly funnier. Yeah. Um, next match you will see is tomorrow. You'll see the last two matches of the second round. Uh, you will see Frank the Tank against Kelly Keegs. And then you will see Roan against the winner of Kirk and Will Compton. We actually, in this moment, we don't know who won that match. We've not recorded that first round match yet. We I know recorded, who won that match. We recorded all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, whatever. People are saying that. I don't know. It's, people aren't giving, uh, giving him a chance. Um, we have not recorded that first round match yet, but uh, the last match of the second round that will air uh, will be the winner of Kirk and Compton against Roan. That is it. DFT moving on to take on yep. Brandon. We will see you tomorrow for the conclusion of the second round. I would also like a formal letter of apology from the seating committee. Yeah, that's you would have been. Uh, you would have been re. And if when we do this again next year, you will be reseated because we'll be doing it based on your success with niches as opposed to your success just overall. Fair Thank point. Thank you. Fair point. All right. See you tomorrow.